Hi there, this is Will Woodgate from Stacks for Stacks. This short video today is going to be covering the updated Stack Slider stack which I'm releasing. Stack Slider, to be honest, is probably one of the first stacks I ever released for Rapid Weaver. It's got to be at least four or five years old now. There were a number of features I wanted to add to Stack Slider. Likewise, I've received a lot of feature requests from existing users like yourselves. And really, the only way forward was to completely overhaul and rebuild this stack from new. The route I've decided to take is to reuse the open source BX slider plugin. Uh, this is a popular slider plugin which is available for all sorts of different platforms. It's MIT licensed, which means we're permitted to use it in any personal commercial projects and indeed put it into add ons which we can resell. And I've been able to combine this with some of my own markup and source code that I've used in the past for different projects. And I've brought in some other open source goodness as well, like we've got FitVid support for YouTuber and Vimeo and various other things. So I haven't just taken the BX slider plugin as it is and just ripped it straight from the original and I'm going to sort of pass it on and resell it. I have done quite a lot of work to modify it and change the specification of it to make it absolutely ideal for what we want to do here. Stack Slider version 4 is going to be a free update for all existing users regardless of what version you're using now or when you purchased the stack. If you want to get this updated version then you'll need to contact me with proof of purchase and then we can verify you are a genuine user of the stack and we can send you an, a coupon code to update to the latest version free of charge or if you purchase the stack within the last five or six months just log into your paddle locker and you can grab the latest version there. So what I've done here today is I'm just using my free blank Rapid Weaver theme from the Theme Flood website. You can see there's not a lot to see here at the moment. I've created a new project here in Rapid Weaver just called a stacks page. So this is my basic stacks page. I'm going to go ahead and open the stack elements library and I'm going to drag and drop a stack slider stack into my page. Stack slider is compatible with both stacks 2 and it's going to be compatible with stacks 3 going forward as well. So you've got that safeguard with this stack. As normal with Stack Slider, you've got very little to look at in edit mode when you first add this stack. Uh, you've just got this drop stacks here. And basically you do as the instructions say, you, you just drag and drop your stacks into this area. You can put in image stacks, markdown stacks, basic text, style text, HTML, images, even video. Um, we support all basic image and uh, text stack types. And of course the advantage of this system is unlike other stacks where you actually have to select in this right hand sidebar how many slides to display, in Stack Slider theoretically it's unlimited. You can drag in as many stacks as you want, you can drag and drop them into any order you want as well. So it means you can come back later on, you can take old stacks out, you can put new ones in, you can change the order and sort of mix things up. To begin with I'm just going to use the default settings. I've got some images here on my desktop and I'm just going to take these and drag them in. I'm not even going to use an image stack here, I'm just going to take and drop these images straight into the, uh, the stack like so. So these were a few I took a few weeks ago when I was on the holiday. Um, images, you can either do like I'm doing now and drag and drop them into a page. Alternatively, if you've got a lot of images to display, it may be wise to publish these images first to a web server. Um, put them in a, in a folder on your web server and then you can link to them. Keeping lots of images outside of Rapid Weaver does bring some benefits in that you've automatically got a backup of all your images outside of Rapid Weaver on the web server. It also means you're taking quite a lot of weight off Rapid Weaver, which will mean you'll have faster saving, um, smoother publishing, less chance of things of crashing and going wrong generally so we're just sort of lightening the burden on Rapid Weaver if we were to go the, the warehousing route. But if you're new to Rapid Weaver or you're only dealing with a few images then you can do like I'm doing here and just go ahead and drag and drop them straight into your page. Images it's best to sort of optimize them. I use a free tool called Image Optim. Uh, if you search Google for that you can uh, get hold of a copy of that. That's free software which will just optimize your images a bit further beyond normal cropping and resizing in software like Photoshop. So I think that's about sort of 12 images I've added to my page here. And if I just go ahead and I'll save this to begin with and then I'll preview the page. And what you'll see 
is we've got ourselves an instant slider. And this is just using the default settings, but we've got next and previous buttons. So I can go through quite easily like that. Also got the option to click on these pagination bullets and you can see I can zip backwards and forwards through different slides like so. If I was viewing this on a device like an iPhone, well firstly this is responsive so it's going to scale to fit the size of the screen you put it into. But also on an iPhone or an iPad or even an Android device or tablet, you've got the option with horizontal sort of finger gestures to swipe your way through the images or the text or whatever else you put in here. So it's a very nice sort of user friendly uh, slider from that perspective. So that is just with the uh, default settings. We've got all the settings here on the right hand side. We've got basic settings, carousel settings, pagination, navigation, play pause and some advanced settings. Um, for the sake of this video I'm not going to go through each one individually. I would instead encourage you to download the free demo version of Stack Slider and play around with it all yourself. If you roll your mouse over all these settings it does give you some informational tool tips about what each individual setting does so that can help and also I'm uploading a lot of information onto the website for Stack Slider. So slider mode basically it's in horizontal by default but vertical will just mean that your images are going to start scrolling vertically like that. Alternatively we've got a fade in option which will just mean your images fade between each other like that. Put that back to horizontal for now. We've got the option to change slide transitions, the margin which is the spacing. The slider type can be toggled between automatic or manual. You can change the starting slide, either um, a numbered slide which will be zero being the first one or we can start with a random slide if we wanted to. We've got options to place our completed stack slider into an extra content container or into a freestyle banner container which is useful so that will cut down on the number of stacks you actually have to have in the um, page. Adaptive height means that the stack slider will automatically adjust to the height of your um, individual stack elements or content you're placing within. Carousel, we can quickly turn that on and have a play with that. This will basically enable you to display multiple slides at the same time. So in this instance we'll just go with the default, so minimum slides 2, maximum slides 5. Distance, that's the number of slides to be slid. If it's 0, that means it will slide all the visible slides, but if we put it to something like 1, then that will just slide one slide at a time. And we've got the option to set a slide width here. If I just go and preview that, you can see very nice simple carousel. If I wanted to put a bit of space between the slides, so I've got the option here. I can just type in, uh, no, actually, I've got some in the box. Uh, slide margin, here we go, 20 pixels. So I just change that like so. And you can see very quickly I can uh, go ahead and change the, the overall presentation of the slider quite quickly like so. I'll put that back to zero for now and just turn off the carousel. The pagination bullets, that's you saw those, that's the little bullet points shown at the bottom here. They just enable you to click and scroll to a particular point of the slider. You can have bad um, pagination bullets or you can have just a numbered text string. So it's just saying one of 16 for example. So we've got 16 slides in here and I can just, you know, you get the general idea. And you know, you can change some of these things around. So that's pagination. You've got the horizontal um, navigation arrows, so they're the ones shown on the left hand side and right hand side. We use font awesome icons, which means that your buttons will be compatible with Retina display devices, and you're also free to customize them with custom CSS or indeed just change any of the button options here, you know, any of the colors, the size, the margin, things like that. If your theme doesn't already have font awesome icons, just go down here to the advanced settings and make sure this uh, font awesome icons option is checked at the bottom here. If not, just leave it and we'll just reuse the theme font awesome icons. Play and pause buttons. These are only displayed really if your slider is in sort of an automated mode. So to demonstrate that I will put slider into automatic mode. That's all correct there. 
So we've got our play pause button enabled there. And if I just go and preview the slider, you can see our pagination bullets shift over to the left. And we've got play pause buttons down here at the bottom right. So I can just pause my slider or I can play it. I hope this short video has been of help to you anyway and whetted your appetite. Certainly Stack Slider has got a huge amount of potential and this was very much clear when I was developing it so I've sort of not skimped on any of the settings and features. I've, I've gone the full mile, got as many different options built into the stack. It may look quite complicated at first glance but I can assure you, you know, within a few minutes as we've proven with this video you can get yourselves very effective image or text slider set up within a page and we've got support for quite a few advanced things as well like even uh, YouTube and Vimeo content so you can actually have video within your slider there's all sorts of things you can do with this stack um, if you've not used stack slider before definitely download the free demo version and have a play around with it in Rapid Weaver if you are an existing user of stack slider then again your update is free of charge you can install version 4 alongside previous versions which will give you the opportunity to experiment with what's available and gradually migrate some of your existing sliders over to this newer version. The product page for Stack Slider is located at stacksforstacks.com forward slash stack slider. We'll have a lot of information and documentation for you available on this page. There will also be links to purchase the stack and to download the free demo version. Should you have any further questions or any other requests, then just feel free to drop me an email. So that's all for now, and I hope this was of use to you, and I look forward to speaking with you again shortly.